My lovely Capricorns, if you would like your own personal reading or if you would like spiritual life coaching to help you cleanse, get rid of any soul ties that have you down and not allowing you to attract the love that you truly desire, you can book with me. I also do personal goals, career, all right? We can focus on many different areas. So the energy that you have for this week <laughs> is um, showing the world who you truly are. And it's like people are so damn upset. They're so upset. Um, you could have been helping a lot of people and trying to get them back on track in the right way in their life. I see you preaching to people. Some of you guys can be a coach too. You could be a coach or you could just be a teacher um, or just a very helpful Capricorn. You could have been through a lot of things in your life and you use these lessons to help other people. All right. Um, In the background too, if you've been going through a breakup, somebody has been waiting for you to break up with your person in hopes that they could have a chance with you. They always, they've been in the background trying to prepare themselves for you. All right. But I hear like, oh, I'm not going to go broke to prove myself to you. But they could have known that you, you had someone and they could have been sitting on the sidelines, especially if you were going to this person and telling them your, your relationship issues. You know, every time you would go and tell them, it's like, they would use this information in order to figure out who would they need to be in order to get you to trust them and to fall in love with them. But I hear hitting you all up at once. You're going to have a few exes that try to come back into your life. Some are aggressive. Some are aggressive. And if they are, if you have an aggressive ex that is coming back, it's like they're aggressive because they feel like... um you, you close them out of your life. Some of you guys, they feel rejected by you. They feel like you try to put them to shame, especially if you exploited them. And exploited them just means like you could have pointed out a lot of their flaws. You could have pointed out a lot of things that they tried to make it seem like they were one way, but you had always seen different in them. When it comes to you, Capricorn, you're able to see people for who they are, not for what they want you to see. You know, and in, in the beginning, they could have probably got you like this, where they had this mask and this facade and tried to act like they were one way, but then you could have lived with them and experienced them and started to expose them to other people. Like, uh-uh, this, this is not who they are. This is... This is who they're trying to show you. So you could have exploited this person to many people. And this person is pissed. They're pissed um, about you knowing the truth of who they are. N and not only just knowing the truth. I feel like they're okay if you knew the truth. But I think they're they're upset because you, they don't know what other people think of them. Because they don't know who else you told the truth to. So they feel uncomfortable. Um... But I hear like, you're going to be really spiritually protected. You're going to be around a lot of people who truly love you and who see you and know what you've been through and know the fight that you had to fight. And it's going to really stand up for you. And if they don't stand up for you in the sense where they're going off on people for you, they may um, truly support you emotionally. And I feel like that's what you're going to need. A lot of emotional support. But let me tell you, Capricorn, you seem, you seem okay to me, baby. You seem okay to me. Let me just go a little bit deeper with that. I feel like you're, you're happy that you expose these people. <laughs> you are so happy. You're not really good with sugarcoating the truth. I think I say this about all Capricorns. Capricorns are not great with sugarcoating the truth. They are known for telling it like it is, you know? So, I think you are actually happy. It's almost like a boo yow, like baby, <laughs> you thought she was going to hurt me, but boom, like, you know, you, you, you drop a heavy load when you communicate your truth and all that you have known, because when you love people, you probably protect them to the death of you. But once they start to try to ruin you, you know, like, it's like you, you know how to protect your own self. So. 
number one, I see you working a whole lot. I see you working a lot. I see a lot of people wanting to work with you. A lot of people find you so attractive, so alarming. Like there's something happening with your energy. You're going to be very energized. You're going to you're going to have a lot of energy in order to put into your work. You're going to have a lot, a lot of energy to put in your work, especially if you own your own business or you're just working for a company and the company requires lots of fast work and baby, you got it down pat. I want to tell you that this week is going to be one of your most confident weeks. And I just see you stepping over all the haters like not to even talk like that, but you know, it is what it is. We're going to talk like that. You like, let me just show you. You know, this is, this is the people and this is you just like jumping over them. Like, baby, you're not going to stop me. You're not going to try to have me down. You're not going to you're not going to block me. You're not going to block my success. You are not going to shut my mouth. Uh, uh, you can't defeat me. You're just going to have a very undefeated demeanor this week when it comes to people um, that that once wanted to hold you back, people who once wanted to mute you, people who didn't want you to say, say the truth because they were afraid of being exposed. You you don't care anymore. Um, and you're And you're moving on. So, some of you, I see you going, baby, you going to take yourself out on a date. I see you getting your pedicure done and getting your nails done. If you are a feminine or if you're a guy, I see you going to the barbershop, baby, you getting lined up real nice. And you're, you're, you feel, you feel the weight that used to, that you used to carry in your heart. You feel like that weight is gone. Like I don't feel that pressure no more. I'm not carrying that burden. I'm not carrying the emotional pain that I've been that I've been holding on to for too long. I'm not I'm not doing this. I'm not playing this position in my life anymore. That's the way that I see you. So this is this is you know, ooh, you got a spiritual union. Boo yeah. Okay, let's get it. <laughs> let's get it how we get it. Um you you have a beautiful I hear harmonious spiritual union and it's exciting. It's intriguing. This person gets lost. Like they they feel very spelled by you, but it's it's not. Like for some reason, they just feel very drawn to you. They feel like you are the alchemy. They feel like you are the empress or the emperor. And they feel like you have a lot of power over them. Sometimes they wish the roles were re reversed. They feel like there's something very powerful about you and it draws them in and it's almost like wait a minute what spirit is saying too let me let me just go back it's like the negativity in your life is being re released like to me are you seeing the number 999 999 just means karmic completions i feel like people let me tell you capricorn baby i feel like people were trying to hold you back people were trying to lie on you People were hoping to like keep you down and I just see you charging forward past all of it, you know, so you have a you have a spiritual union. Um, you're going to be watching a lot of like you're going to be watching a lot of shows. You're going to have a lot of happiness. And let me see what else. Let me see about the spiritual union. I just feel like you have power. You have so much power over them, but it's, you know, you could be very, very confident, you know, you could be very, very confident. I love this. That's all there is to it. Some of you, if you've been with this person, it's like you, you could have had people trying to like get in your marriage and or your relationship and tear you guys down and not wanting you guys to get together. And I see you like kicking through the walls like you were not going to allow you're not going to break up my family, you know? So if it's not someone that you've been with, I hear courting male. It could be a courting male that's coming into your life and they recognize your worth. They recognize your value. They know that you have it in you to change the game. Um, let me see. Capricorn, if you have kids, your kids look up to you. They value you and they're proud of you. 
They really are. Like you have your own children even admire you. They know how hard you work. They know what you've been through. They find you to be a, a tough. See, you're just going to have people like if they weren't successful with conquering you, they're going to feel so deceived. It's almost like they're going to be in their minds now. Like if they had you messed up, if they had you in confusion for a few months, it's like now they're in their head like, wait. So what is the truth? <laughs> like you got them so confused. You got them second guessing themselves like, wait, I thought. Or if people come up to them and say, I thought you said blah, 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 blah about Capricorn. And then they don't know what to say. Like they could, they, you have somebody who got caught in their lies. <laughs> you got somebody who got caught in their lies. It's almost like <laughs> people could have believed this person, but now they're starting to see you for you. And even it's like whoever started these rumors about you, whoever tried to hurt you, it's like um, they start to look at them funny. Like, wait a minute. Yeah. I knew it. Then I say you're, you're so powerful. Let me tell you what's going to happen because because you have so much money coming in because you're in your power. You're going to be afraid. You could you could have like a scarcity mindset like you have a firm foundation. Money's rolling in and you're just you can get a little afraid of like how long will this last? Like how long will this money flow last? Like will it last? What am I going to do next to make sure like stability is going to have heavily be on your mind even though you have money flow coming in even though your foundation and your bills are paid um you may be afraid at times of like okay i'm i'm doing good now but how long will this season last and you trying to think about the future some of you you may you may um take out money from your home if you have your own house you may take money from your house in order to like save i see a lot of happiness in your house some of you if you have children i see you guys like playing board games and stuff with your children there's lots of happiness you could be ordering food this week because you don't feel like cooking but you know what it is you love family and I feel like as long as your finances is strong and your kids is happy, I feel like that's all you truly care about. So if you want to get into the conversation of what you value, you value security and you value a happy family. You know, you love to provide. You love to make sure like your kids is happy and provided for. That makes you really happy. Um, let me see. See, like, let me let me go deeper about this prosperity. Because look at you, like you're praying about it. You're moving, you're moving on. Some of you guys can be leaving a job. Like you could be moving on from a job that wasn't serving you. You could have been trying to hold on to it so much. You know, something, especially if it's a family business, you could have been trying to hold on to a family business for so long. And no matter what you do with this family business, it's almost like, it's it's going to come to an end anyway. Maybe that's why you're afraid because now you need to expand or look for some some way way else to like get more security. You can even be going into business with someone, like teaming up with someone where you could put both of your monies together in order to make your finances more stronger. Yeah. You're just going through a huge transformation when it comes to work and how you make your money, you know? And whatever you were putting into before, you you just it was your heart. It was your heart. And if you did lose someone, they're getting readings on you. Intuition. Like they're getting readings on you. They want to know if you are happier without them. They want to know what's going on in your relationship. They want to know, um, do you still think about them? They want to know if you are bored of the person that you're with. Somebody wants to know everything about you and your your relationship you're constantly on their mind and if you have a spiritual gift they want to know are you born with it is god testing you they somebody wants to know everything about you they feel lonely without you 
They feel like you have so many options and so many opportunities that they don't have. They're worried about their own future and their own destiny, whoever this past person is. Whoever this whoever this person you're in union with, like you guys are gonna be goals. When you're out with people, you you too. You and this this power couple, like when whenever you guys are out, people you make people turn around. You guys are goals to, to together, whether you know it or not. People find you both to be so stunningly attractive. Just just look. When you guys are out together, look at people, watch you. <laughs> They find you so attractive and they probably even wonder like, damn, I wonder what their sex life is. That's how that's how much these people watch you and whoever you're going to be with or whoever you're already with. They wonder what your sex life is like. They wonder what it's like to be with either one of you, like your goals to so many people. Tell me more. Spirit says if you've been trying to train your mind because you want higher, you you really want like to be a billionaire, millionaire. Um, your person may want to get you pregnant. They probably want to have a baby with you. And you're just like, uh -uh, I'm focused on money. Can we take our time? This person wants to like speed the process with you and make babies with you. And you just want to take your time. You're not rushing into you're not rushing into having a child right now. You guys may also travel together. Yes, it's commitment. You have a commitment that's healing, that's strong. You know, you're going to be holding back from other people in the past to like focus on the Ten of Pentacles security and just building a strong foundation. I feel like even when you making love to this person, you still thinking about money. Um, let me see what else comes out for you. And I'm going on to the extended. Some of you guys can be watching Poetic Justice. Or listening to Janet Jackson. Let me see. Do some of you guys work on music? Because I see you in the, in the studio. Let me see sabotage. Spirit doesn't want you to sabotage your harvest. Don't sabotage your money. Don't sabotage your money with like small thoughts. Like you living in fear and thinking that all your money is going to go. That you start to... um play small or you start to have a scarcity mindset and ruin the harvest that's coming for you so just be careful of that you're going to have a really good flow of money um and you are the alchemy i hear i'm joining you for good so you either have a spiritual connection with somebody and they're they're with you for good they're in it for the long haul or you are coming back closer to someone that just wants to protect you they find you safer than, than any other option that they ever had. And they just want to enjoy this with you. And they just hope you don't get bored of them. They feel like, yeah. And you're going to be highly intuitive. I hear watching your favorite shows. I see you laughing, starving your, 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 starving your distractions. And um, finally forgiving yourself. Forgiving yourself for not knowing any better. You know? Spirit says if you don't want to have any children, you should practice safe sex with this person because, see, sacred lust, you can create a baby if you don't want one. So just be careful. I'm going to do a full spread on your person and give you more um, work messages, okay? I send you so much love and light.